so hi everyone, this is my next oh, it is. You're gonna, it's infrared, so you're gonna see so welcome everyone, this is my first time here, so please be nice to me. So I'm very very stunned at this place, it looks super awesome. Right, so I hope this can be my future office, something like that. Okay, I'll be to drop out. I'll not cover into the technical part, although you can ask that later on in the panel discussion if you have any technical questions. So I'll just cover up introduction to Drupal. How many of you have used Drupal before? Quite a few of you. How many of you are developers? Module developers? Well, same people here. Okay, so this is my website, my email, my Twitter. Okay, what is Drupal? So I will start with the boring, boring stuff. I know you all don't like this. These are the history. So it's pronounced, I just got to know it's pronounced as Drupal. <laughs> Serious? Drupal? Yeah. Drupal. I, okay, I was, I was in the Drupal, Drupal Meetup Singapore, which is early, which helped early this month. So, Dries, yeah, it's also pronounced as Dries, but it's not Dries. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong with the pronunciation. What, what, what other new and This is why we shouldn't use Drupal. <laughs> Some kind of Belgian English, I'm not, I'm not sure. So, so somebody, this, somebody's gonna tell me I pronounce Kare for a wrong. Okay, so so he was pronouncing Drupal and his name is Dries, so so we all kind of adapt to it. So it started as a school discussion <coughs> forum, something like the story of the social network Facebook. Everyone watched that movie, right? Mm. About Mark Zuckerberg. So he want he wanted a, a way to discuss within his own group of roommates. So a discussion forum. So we started a blogging system forum, whatever, tracking RSS feeds. At the time it was pretty new, RSS feeds, and he's one of the first to implement that feature, RSS feeds. And soon, he, due to widespread adoption, he started to release it as Drupal. Drupal as in 2001, and it's been 11 years already. One of the longest, I think. <coughs> okay, so, so what exactly is Drupal? Drupal is Anyone, everyone knows it's a CMS, it's a content management system, but, but right now it has evolved. It's evolved to become a CMS content management framework. So it's like a fusion of both of it. So you get the best of both of Why I say that? Because now the API is becoming increasingly powerful. It's very easy to extend. You can create almost any type of website that you can think of. You can even create Facebook with Drupal, I think. Yes, there are modules for that. If you are willing to fork out, yeah. <laughs> maybe you can have a showdown. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, these are the numbers. I didn't make up all the numbers. These are really what I found on the internet. But I never included the references here. I can show you if you really want. <laughs> so there are like 13,000 modules. All these are. Yeah, I got it from the Drupal website, d.org. So, yeah, 1334 lead. 137, yeah, okay. So, 13,000 developers, and one of them, I'm sure all of you are members. So, two different countries. But I could not find how many Drupal users are there in Malaysia. So, some one data, data is hidden. So, it's 99 languages for this weekly downloads. Okay, the good thing is, it's increased from the March DrupalCon Chicago, I think. It was 1.6% of the worldwide websites back. And now it's November and increased 2.64%. It's the second place, unfortunately, is Miley Face then. I said Miley Face. <laughs> so I'm sure you all know what, which is the first CMS in the world. Obvious! PHP look! So, WordPress, WordPress stops. Joomla is like number 5th. I got it from dukewith.com, so you can check out dukewith.com. So the price is free because it's open source. So next. Okay, what is different from Drupal with other CMS? So what the main thing is the multi-site installation. You can do it <laughs> <laughs> Shall we move on? 
<laughs> okay, so, okay, very good example is Sony Music. Sony Music, all the artists like Pink, Avril Lavigne, <coughs> and all, they are all using Drupal, and it's all under one single installation. So, meaning, one single code base. So, meaning that if you just update one source code, and all the sites get updated at the same time. So, it's, it's a very easy thing, multi-site installation. And secondly, it's... Yeah, you can build almost any kind of website, intranet, wiki, government website, hospital management systems, even payroll systems, everything. And thirdly, implement any kind of design. Why I say this? Because the teaming, the teaming layer is... I know WordPress can do that too. No, 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 that's not, that's not, that's not. I'm expecting that already. So, so implement any kind of design like... If you, you, okay, you can have a designer that comes up with very, very fancy, like maybe maybe menu goes down. So that can be done with Drupal because yeah, the team is super flexible and it comes with a like, inheritance layer. So you can have a base team for all the Sony websites to use and each one has a unique sub-team. So next thing is, is scalable. So scalable... WordPress can What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> scalable meaning that I mean Drupal is able to scale. I mean you can have like 50 million traffic. One of the websites like the economies, does. the economies without caching. <laughs> okay, so it comes to caching. You can you can cache mem cache and whatever. Okay, I'm not talking about that too much. <laughs> okay, security. It has a very very dedicated security team, which is very hardworking. So any like any modules that we contribute is actually being scrutinized by the security team and they check throughout it. So if there's a security, it's a critical security and they are going to be unpublished from the web page until you fix the security hole. So next continuation is SEO friendly. I'm talking about the new Drupal 7. <coughs> Version 7 comes with all these new things like semantic web, like RDF. Anyone knows what RDF is? Resource development framework. Yeah, Sorry? Uh, yeah, so if you want to explain, you can ask. <laughs> so it's very SEO friendly. Like anything that you 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 publish on the website, any content, you can tag it. Like I'm posting about Wuhan, so you can tag it with webcam people. Google, I mean, eventually Google will be able to find out through the RDS text. So so it's a new feature there, and it's developer friendly. Third party integration is super easy. So you can think of any. <coughs> Almost any, any, any like, let's say I'm taking an example for payment gateways. So if you want to integrate with Malaysian payment gateway like iPay and NBE Pay, it's now known as MoPay. So it's very easy, and I, I did the iPay for them. So API is well documented, which is a good thing. API.drupal.org. So there are even code examples for some of the functions. Some of the functions, yes. <laughs> or you can even ask at the forums if you want. Okay, so next thing, one of the features is new is a uh, hosted service. Anyone tried Drupal Gardens before? Yeah. Yeah. Anyone, two, three. So Drupal Gardens is a new service provided by Acquia. Acquia is a company formed by Dries, founded by Dries by Baikar. So it aims to offer something like WordPress.com. It's a hosted service. Uh, WordPress.com. <laughs> so lastly, Drupal is everywhere. I'm not sure how that's going to It is anywhere. Yeah, I can show examples later. So yeah. So next thing, this is how Drupal looks like. It's okay, this is standard installation looks basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay, to be honest, I have never tried WordPress or Joomla before. No I, I wonder, I no wonder. So I've just got to try this morning and just for this this event. So I've extracted WordPress and installed it and I find it's Don't listen to this one. <laughs> okay, it's totally different from what we see in Drupal. Like this Drupal seven, the administrator bar is top there. WordPress is like it's so totally so separate back end already. No, there's there's a bar though. You can show me the bar. Okay, so anyway, so WordPress copy. No. Yeah, WordPress copy Drupal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drupal copy who? Okay, carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry on, carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everything can be managed from the top from the 
team modules, whatever crap there. Yeah. So you can install this is what you get from the basic installation. So I'll not go in detail, you can try this myself. Next slide. When would you use Drupal? So websites that require flexibility. Okay, what do you mean by flexibility? Let's say you started a blog like Wuhan.com, it's a personal blog, and eventually he became popular and he wanted to start <laughs> he's already popular. <laughs> assuming, assuming. So he wanted to start up a job site, a job portal. He's looking for talented people, so he's starting for talented people like Smashing Magazine. Anyone heard of SmashingMagazine.com? Yes. So they have a job portal that's dedicated. Yeah, the site's built with WordPress for some kind of information. <laughs> so let's say, for example, he started a blog and he wants to create a job site eventually. So he doesn't have to reinstall everything. He just has to plug and play a few modules and that's it and just click, 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 that's all. So it's that simple and yeah, that's about it. So you, you are able to interact with other websites or technology. So website A, I can connect to your Drupal's website B. So you can exchange information directly. And what you can do thirdly is create complex forms or questionnaires. <coughs> maybe some, maybe for your college assignment, if you don't want to use those surveymonkey.com, those kind of surveys, you want to have your own personal branding up there so you can just create a complex form. The module is called what web forms. So Next, web applications with third party integration. Okay, lastly, this is something new I discovered too. Pop, sub, hop, bop. <laughs> Very What's funky name, huh? Anyone heard of this before? Wow. <coughs> okay, so I will not explain in detail what is that. It's, it's like a new, I think, from my understanding, it's like new RSS feature. It's like a live, it's like a live thing. Push, push, push. push, push yes. That's so, push. so you publish something and your subscriber gets it immediately. So it's being implemented to Drupal already through a third party module, RDS, Apache Solar Search is a some kind of yeah, search, search engine and Apache Maho this is a machine and data mining engine. So this is all available in Drupal and MongoDB. It was, it was new. Now you're able to use Drupal with MongoDB as well, as MongoDB Batman. So any questions so far? No. <laughs> case study. Okay, I'll just give a very simple case study. So, okay, recently our Drupal Malaysia group, me, Chris, and, and the guys here, these are all Drupal Ooh. guys here. So, so, we are trying to bring awareness to Drupal in Malaysia. So, we are, we are having a once in two months meeting, something like that. So, we talk about Drupal, how do we spread awareness. So, we have also come up with a revamp for Drupal site, site Drupal.my. Don't look at the site right now. It's very, very ugly. So, so, okay, so this is what we propose. It's like a, a service created by us on Drupal Malaysia and it's like a proof of concept that you can do this in Drupal. It's, a, it's called openshippingrace.com, you can visit it right now, but it's pretty much alpha based. Alpha based. So what problem do we have? Okay, as you all know, the e-commerce industry in Malaysia is booming. Many people are starting to sell things online already. So because it's so easy, you can set up a Magento shop. Even WordPress, I think you can sell e-commerce too. <coughs> so problem we have is getting shipping rates. Because people buy online, they would like to <coughs> have you ship your your home. So it's difficult to maintain your own database of shipping rates. You may have post module, DHL, FedEx. So what we are trying to do is solution is use Drupal as a web service provider. So we are going to use create an open shipping rates account as an API service for for other e-commerce sites to get the latest shipping rates. We will maintain the shipping rates ourselves and we will contact maybe contact FedEx and all. We give them a client account, they can update all the shipping rates from our UI. So like yeah, features is API interface to get live shipping codes. Only as far as I know, only UPS provide this API service. DHL you need to contact them to get a special access. So, so we're making it. <coughs> we're assuming that it's like JSON, XML. Yes, correct. With OAuth. Yes, yes, correct. OAuth authentication. So basic OAuth. Yes. Okay. Something like Twitter or Facebook's API. All right. So <coughs> you authenticate, you get your own OAuth key, and you can get your shipping rates ready. Okay. And you, because the name is open, so we're going to give it as free, open source, <laughs> free, but. We will limit the throttle yeah, because our server is still pretty small server until we get something somewhere. Is the shipping rate based on your rates or is it the customer's rates? Because different customers, depending on the volume that they mm. ship, they get different rates. Uh, this is a general rate. Direct general tax. General tax. So the maximum you would pay. Yes. So it's based on the rate. I can show the interface right now. So 
for the list is right. This can access, so it's yeah. So this DHL is not implemented yet. It's just a dummy to show here. So let's say you put your weight as a 33 kg from 5900, I think it's this place, Bangsa, to Sabah, to Fort Hustle. And yeah, you can see it's like 176. Yeah, so this is very simple. This is a front end UI just for people to test, potential clients to test, oh, it's working, yes. So they can contact us, and all those pages are blank, so don't bother using first. Yeah, it's just proof of concept. So this can be done with Drupal. I think it can be done with WordPress too. So I'm not sure. Okay, the future. What's for the future? This is what uh, Dries explained in the Singapore meetup. He explained about Drupal 8. So his mission is to be able to have multi device publishing, mobile tablets. So that's the future. And HTML says HTML5 says that's three. And basically it's more on the front end. User experience, responsive teams, responsive is as in like you have a different team for your desktop, different team for mobile. So that's what it calls responsive teams. And, and I don't know whether this will be good or bad. Components will be based on the Symfony 2 framework. So I'm not sure whether this is true or not. So there will be, there'll be boring components on Symfony. Sorry? It's already been moved in the Symfony. Yeah, Symfony 2 is there already. So I think it's going to get really big, really big. OK. I think that's about it. So I'll just show you some notable websites called by Drupal. It's gonna be long. Woo! <laughs> 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 house. Yeah. Okay. Because I have few days. Okay. White House is a very good example. I mean, like Dries, Dries gave his example as well, and he explained that any any 15 year old kid is a hacker. He will try to hack White House first, and he's proven that he's still there. So yeah, Drupal is pretty much secure. Gone down. A few months ago. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can try and hack through it. Okay. <laughs> Next, Economist is a magazine. Wow. CNN, CNN Go. Wow. It's a travel site. CNN, okay, we, one of the participants asked questions to Dries as well. Why, is, why are the sub sites, micro sites of CNN using Drupal but not the main site? Mm. Because it's too much of trouble. The main site is a, like a custom CNS developed internally for, for CNN. And they have like billions of pages monthly. So it's too much work to try and migrate to the Training program. of the entire team is exactly. crazy. Yeah, it's too much cost <coughs> at the moment. Okay, next. Ubuntu is using Drupal. Twitter developers. Twitter's developer portal is powered by Drupal. MTV UK. Sony Music Artist. World Economic Forum. ING Insurance. Mm. PayPal, PayPal Developer Forum. X.com. And anyone, I'm sure all of you play Facebook games. Like Singa. <laughs> Singa is powered by Drupal already. Mm. This recently you and Ikea, Sweden. Ah, Ikea, uh, Sweden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's very quiet now. He's very quiet now. He's very quiet now. He's very Commonwealth Games. This is last year's their team. McDonald's, Australia. McDonald's, Australia is using Drupal. The Sun Daily, developed by Deep Solutions here. <laughs> Sun 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 not sure Sabrina is here. This by default Australian is a... Okay, the front end is, is using Drupal. The back end, I'm not sure it's something else. You see that, that touch screen UI for booking system is powered by Drupal. Mm. TVSBTS.com.my So long. Yeah, I don't know what. Terminal was probably. I've never heard this before. <laughs> Malay Mail. Q Hotels. Mm. Hotels yeah. powered by Drupal. And this is what I did years ago. <laughs> it's not maintained already. Uh. I'm not sure anyone maintaining it. Previously it was hacked. Here we have all the Vigra links and all this. <laughs> <laughs> I was not responsible for that, so... So he, so he college. Okay, okay the end. Drupal takes longer to learn, but once you learn it, you won't want to be on any other platform. Awesome. <laughs>